Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Recently, we had the very popular Kia Telluride in the garage. And as always, we like to take an underhood tour and outline all of the major technical aspects as well as the maintenance service points. Under the hood of the 2020 to 2023 Kia Telluride and the Hyundai Palisade, very similar, is the brand's Lambda 2 3.8 liter V6 engine a power plant that's been around in various forms since 2005. Here it produces 291 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque, and that's on 87 octane regular unleaded fuel. In its latest iteration, the engine features direct fuel injection and runs on the fuel-saving Atkinson cycle with a 13 to 1 compression ratio. To make it all workable, it features dual overhead cams on each of its aluminum heads with continuously variable cam timing, the cams are chain driven. Available with both front wheel drive and all wheel drive, the engine comes mated to an 8 speed automatic transmission. On the 2023 Telluride SX all wheel drive we have here, fuel economy is rated by the EPA at 18 miles per gallon city, 24 miles per gallon highway, and 21 miles per gallon combined. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the front of the engine bay through a snorkel at the top of the radiator and goes through an air filter box mounted high and easy to access. From there it travels through a single bore throttle body and into a composite plastic intake manifold we can see pretty clearly with the engine sound cover removed. Here, there isn't much of the fuel delivery system to see as most of the direct injection components are hidden away with exception of the large fuel regulator seen here with its foam sound cap. Looking at the top front of the engine you can see the spark plug coil packs easily looking like they're pretty easy to reach and change. The rear plugs will take some extra effort to get to though. Exhaust exits low at both the front and the rear of the engine into the catalyst system. Routine DIY maintenance in the engine compartment is pretty straightforward due to its simple layout and easy access to most components. Engine coolant is located at the top of the passenger side wheel well. Windshield washer fluid is just ahead of it, notable with its bright blue cap. Checking the oil is done at a bright yellow dipstick at the front top of the engine, the oil filler cap just to the left of it. Changing the oil filter, you have to get up from below to do that. Now, there is no dipstick for the automatic transmission. These are considered, quote, sealed for life. The brake fluid, though, can be checked and topped off at its reservoir located at the driver's side rear of the engine bay. The air filter is just ahead of it and is one of the easiest in the business to replace, simply sliding out like a drawer with the pull of a couple levers. With a vehicle like this, anyone can change the filter without tools or experience. Never pay the dealership for this again. Brilliant! Next to that air filter is the main engine control unit, or ECU, and to the right of that is the main consumer grade fuse box. Pop the top with a couple tabs and you'll find a fuse removal tool inside to make your work easier here. The 12 volt battery is located ahead of the filter box for easy access to its posts. Changing it will require the removal of the plastic intake snorkel, however. Looking around the engine bay, it's worth noting that it's nicely trimmed out with plastic panels at the sides and at the firewall for a vehicle in this price range. Looking ahead toward the front, you can see its electric cooling fan. Always keep your hands clear, even when it's powered off. At the rear of the engine bay, down low on the passenger side, is the ABS control unit. Just showing it to you, it's really not something that's user serviceable. Well, there you go, my friends, the Kia Telluride under the hood. And as I said, the Hyundai Palisade, exactly the same. Everything I said, everything I showed you, exactly the same. So if you're looking at doing your own maintenance, here's a few things that you can use to find your way around. Now we do have a test drive on this vehicle. You can see that right there. And you can also subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. We do all kinds of this technical stuff if that's what you're into.